You are going to love this next segment because my next guest is an Appalachian grandmother who went viral after she won 30 ribbons. That's right, 30 ribbons at the Virginia Kentucky District Fair. Her blue ribbon dishes, yeah, give her a hand. Thank you. Well, her blue ribbon dishes ranged from, get this, from pies to sauerkraut. Now, I didn't say she made sauerkraut pies. I'm pretty sure there is no, no. such appetite for that. But her first cookbook called Blue Ribbon Kitchen, it's coming out this summer. We have a copy of it. You can already order it now. She is with us to show off some of her Blue Ribbon winning recipes and show us how to make her very special Blue Ribbon winning peanut butter fudge. Please welcome Linda Skeens. Thank you. Linda, thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You know, somebody who has won Blue Ribbons at the fair you're going against some pretty tough competition. Oh, yeah. You so do. we're going to do tonight peanut butter fudge. That's right. How do you make peanut butter fudge? First of all, you get you a big pot. You got one? Yeah. There you go. And I, as I was telling Mike, we drove six hours from Virginia yesterday, and I brought the stick of butter to go along with the other ingredients, but I left it in the hotel room, so we'll just have to pretend it's here. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to pretend that there's butter in here, yes. a whole stick of butter. But first thing you do, you put your stick of butter in the skillet or a big pot. You put your stove on medium heat. You melt that butter. Then you put your white sugar in it. Do you want to go ahead and put it in it? Sure. How much is that? That's four cups. Four cups of sugar and butter. We're already there. I mean, come on. Let's face it. This is going to be good. Then you put one cup of packed brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Then just... you put... A can of evaporated milk. Okay, is that I, like Eagle Brand milk or pet milk? No, that's milk? regular milk. Regular and milk, like pet I, milk or something like that? I don't know if any of you folks out here, my mama called it cream. She didn't call it evaporated milk. And my daughter said, you can't call it cream on TV. You have to call it evaporated milk. Really? Milk. Why is that? I don't know. But now all the people in my family called it cream. We so, call it cream. If we want to call it cream, by golly, <laughs> it's going to be cream on the Huckabee Show. All righty. But anyway, you bring this, you stir it up together good, bring mm -hmm. it to a boil, a good rolling boil. All right. You know what I'm talking about. Then you time it for seven minutes and boil it seven minutes. Then when you take it off the heat, you add a 16-ounce jar of peanut butter. Creamy or crunchy? Creamy. You can use whatever you prefer. I'll use the creamy, but you can use either one. Okay. All then right. Then you have a seven-ounce jar of marshmallow cream. Uh -huh. Then you have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Uh-huh. You just stir all that together, mix it really, really good, put it in a buttered 9 by 13 dish, chill it two hours, and that's what you get. That's it? That's it. It's simple, and everybody that's... I ran into a lady at Royal King, and she wanted her picture took with me. She said she made it for a church dinner, and everybody loved it, and it was the easiest stuff she'd ever made. Are we going to get to try some of this right now? Yeah. It, it, oh, I'll run it to you, Dean. I don't want it. <laughs> Mm. Trey, Keith, if you want some, you can come get it, but you better hurry because it's going quick. All right, that's not. This when, good stuff. I wasn't taking when I did it on Today Show, Pierre already bit off the first part of that. Said it melted in his mouth. When I did it on Today Show. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. I like this better than the regular fudge. Yeah, the brown sugar I think gives it a little zing. Mm -hmm. I like it better too. But it's the, my husband's favorite. The texture is great. And I've been cooking great. for him 58 years, so he knows good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm dissolving this in my mouth, you brought some other things here. What else we got here? I have mm. cookies and cream fudge, which is made with condensed milk, white bacon chocolate, and Oreos. I have my homemade brownies that's made from a recipe that's like 30 years old. Mm -hmm. These are um, cranberry white chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. Wow. And Are you guys uh, feeling yourselves salivating for <laughs> Christmas treats right now? You know, I'm thinking that this was simpler than I was expecting it to be. It is simple. It's most of my, I like to cook simple. I like, when I first got married, I wasn't, a, I was 16, so I wasn't mm -hmm. a very good cook. You can ask my husband, but anyway. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to ask him anything. Ask uh, I learned you made up for it, honey. I'll I tell learned you, you have. a lot of it on my own. Mm -hmm. And I used to watch these cooking shows, and they would have these big fancy ingredients, big pots that I didn't have or didn't know how to get them. I like to cook something simple that everybody tells me. The pinwheel fudge I made, I had 750,000 people watch me make it, and they said it was so simple and so good, 
that that's wow. what they liked about him. See, I do think that that's what's missing in a lot of cooking recipes. A lot of people are not master chefs. Nope. They need something simple that they can actually do. What you've just showed us is something. Are all these recipes simple recipes? Yeah, they're simple. They're easy to make. Yeah. So beyond the desserts, which obviously you're great at, do you have a couple of other things that are in the cookbook that we're going to want to try? Uh, actually, like, uh, there's peach raspberry jam. That won me $100, the little jar. Whoa, yeah. what did you say? $100? A Food City did a uh, jam contest in 2018 at the Russell County Fair, and I won $100 and a blue ribbon with the peach Oh, raspberry. I thought it cost $100, and I'm going to say it's a little over I my budget here. I won $100 for making it. I'm going to... It's peach raspberry. The red raspberries give it a different flavor. I'm not going to stick my finger in it because then that would oh, you contaminate can have it. it. I, I got but I am going to try it. Mm, it's that's different. Good. Mm -hmm. Peach raspberry. Yeah. And I'll give you a blue ribbon for that. Northern strawberry, Northern's my salsa. You know, yeah. you can't go wrong with these, Linda. That's good stuff. Thank you. I'd pay you $100 for that. You I'm telling you, it's that good. You can have it, take good. it with you if you want it. Well, I have it's to fine. now. I'm sticking my finger in it. That's the whole <laughs> idea, right? Well, I. All right, I'm going to give you the Huckabee Show Blue Ribbon for a job <laughs> well done. And you know, the one thing I hope people t take from this, a lot of people don't can anymore. Yeah. They don't craft and quilt anymore and things. And I think stuff like that's important. And if, with my age group, if people don't learn to do it, it's probably just going to die out. And that would be a shame, because this be. is great stuff. Linda yeah. Skeens, Thank we are so, so glad to have you here. Appreciate it. <laughs> we are so glad to have you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Now, to follow Linda Skeens online and to pre-order her upcoming cookbook, Blue Ribbon Kitchen, with all these great recipes, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we're going to connect you. What a great Christmas gift idea would be to pre-order this cookbook, and somebody's going to be cooking for you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.